People often confuse ravens and crows with each other. After all, they do look similar. They are both black birds with black beaks and feathers. It certainly doesn't help that most ravens and crows occupy the same areas too. These similarities aren't coincidental. Ravens and crows are actually related. Common ravens and American crows both come from the Corvidae family. Even if they are related, however, there are certain differences between the two birds that can help even the casual birdwatcher tell them apart. If you're interested in learning more about the similarities and differences between ravens and crows, then keep on watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neat facts to discover the world one click at a time. After a closer look, you'll notice obvious differences between ravens and crows in their physical appearances. From afar, it's easy to mistake a raven for a crow or vice versa. Both ravens and crows have black feathers, black beaks, and black eyes. Even if they do look alike, however, there are certain differences you can look out for if you want to tell them apart. Ravens and crows have different sizes. Most ravens are bigger than crows. A common raven has an average body length of 24 inches. Meanwhile, an American crow has an average body length of 17 inches. This means most American crows are around 7 to 8 inches shorter than common ravens. Given their size difference, ravens are also heavier than crows. A raven is around 2.6 pounds while a crow's average body weight is only 1 pound. Their beaks differ from each other. While ravens and crows both have black beaks, the size and shape differ greatly. For instance, a raven's beak is thicker than a crow's, and it curves down near the tip. On the other hand, the beak of a crow is thinner and it doesn't have a curved end like a raven's. You'll also notice both birds have feathers around their beaks. However, the feathers around a raven's beak are shaggier, while the feathers around a crow's beak look thin and trimmed. They also have different wingspans. If you're looking at a black bird in the sky, consider looking closer at their wings. Common ravens have long wings that can stretch up to 54 inches, while American crows have shorter wings that can only stretch up to 40 inches. Another way to distinguish these two birds in flight is to pay attention to the tip of their wings. If the tip of their wing is extended into long fingers, then the bird is a common raven. If the tip of their wings are shorter and ruffled, then the bird is an American crow. Their tails differ greatly from each other, too. A common raven's tail is longer with a diamond or V-shape at the end. Meanwhile, an American crow's tail is shorter with a simple curved shape at the end. Unlike a raven's tail feathers, the tail feathers of a crow do not elongate in the middle. This makes them appear shorter. In other words, if you see a blackbird with a long pointed tail, then it's likely a common raven. If you see a blackbird with a short fan-shaped tail, then it's probably an American crow. Aside from their physical appearance, ravens and crows also have different call sounds. You might be wondering, can ravens and crows talk? In a way, they can. Ravens and crows call in order to communicate with their kind. However, these two birds have different call sounds. A raven's call sound is low-pitched. When a raven calls, people call it croaking. On the other hand, a crow has a high-pitched call. When a crow calls, they make caw-caw sounds, much like the ones you hear in horror movies. While ravens and crows have similar diets, they also have unique preferences. Ravens and crows are both omnivorous scavengers. They eat whatever they can scavenge and this includes both plants and animals. However, in the same way each of us has our own favorite food, ravens and crows also have their own preferences. Ravens prefer to feast on small animals. This includes insects, mice, and lizards. Occasionally, they also hunt smaller birds. In urban areas, common ravens scavenge garbage cans for food. On the other hand, crows like to feast on seeds. They prefer fruits, nuts, and also worms. As omnivores, crows also eat smaller birds. However, they usually only do so when they chance upon eggs or young birds in abandoned nests. 
Ravens and crows also have distinct behaviors. If you have the chance to observe these blackbirds for a long time, then try observing how they behave. Their distinct personalities can also help you tell ravens and crows apart. For instance, ravens and crows have different walks. This might come as a surprise to most people, but ravens and crows don't walk in the same manner. An American crow walks similar to other birds, but a common raven has a unique walk. A common raven walks and struts with two-footed hops. The next time you're at a park and catch a blackbird on the ground, try paying attention to how they walk. If they hop around in between walking, then they're a common raven. If they walk like any other bird, then they're an American crow. Ravens and crows also fly differently. Another difference between the two birds can be found while they are in flight. When a raven flies, they soar and glide through the air. They hardly move their wings while flying. On the other hand, a crow looks like an energetic flyer. They will flap their wings frequently while flying. Both birds are intelligent, but their sociability differs. Ravens and crows are both known for their high intelligence and problem-solving skills. In fact, these scavengers know how to unlock sealed containers just to get to the leftover food inside. Both birds also have a great memory. They can remember faces, so people often try to befriend them. However, these blackbirds can be distrustful of humans. Common ravens aren't the most sociable of birds. They either travel alone or in pairs. American crows, on the other hand, can be more open to friendships as they often travel in groups. A word of warning, however, as a group of blackbirds isn't an invitation to befriend them. While crows can be friendlier to humans, a group of crows is called a murder of crows for a reason. Crows often gang up on other predators, including those that are bigger than them. A lonesome raven, for instance, might be the target of a murder of crows. While some of their habitats can overlap, ravens and crows also occupy different areas. You can find populations of ravens and crows inhabiting North America. However, ravens prefer less populated areas. You'll find them in grasslands, forests, and rural areas with fewer people. Common ravens also live in areas of Central America, Europe, and Asia. On the other hand, American crows often live in urban areas. They adapt better than ravens so they can survive in populated areas. However, unlike ravens, Crows dislike deserts, where there are no trees they can nest on. Crows will also avoid thick forests where larger birds and other predators can lurk and attack them. You can find crows in certain areas of Canada and the US. While ravens and crows both appear in myths, they each have their own legends. There are a lot of superstitions when it comes to ravens and crows, like black cats, People often believe that ravens and crows bring about bad luck, simply because of their dark color. In films, blackbirds are often portrayed as evil creatures that assist witches. However, some cultures have their own unique beliefs about these birds. In several mythologies, ravens appear as messengers or companions. Some Native American cultures view ravens as tricksters or stealers of souls. They believe ravens act as messengers between the living and the dead. In Norse mythology, ravens are associated with Odin, the ruler of Asgard. Odin is also known as the Raven God, and he is often depicted with two ravens resting on his shoulders or on his throne. In most legends, Odin has two ravens named Hugin and Munin, and they fly around the world to collect information for their master. On the other hand, other cultures and legends depict crows very differently. In Irish and Indian mythology, crows symbolized war and death. For instance, the Indian epic Mahabharata depicts crows as messengers of death. They believe crows had foresight, and with this foresight, crows often delivered bad news to humans. This differs from how Cornish and Greek mythology view crows. Followers of Cornish mythology see crows as divine creatures. Similarly, Greek mythology also reveres these black birds. One myth depicts crows as the messengers of the Greek god of the sun, Apollo. Apollo had a white crow which he entrusted to look after Coronis, his lover. While Apollo was away, however, 
Coronas fell in love with someone else. The White Crow relayed this news to its master. Unfortunately, it fell victim to Apollo's rage, as the Greek god was overcome with anger at the news. Apollo struck a curse on the White Crow, burning its feathers into black. Anyone can see that common ravens and American crows have a lot of similarities. Because of that, it's easy to confuse the two. As these differences show, however, it can be just as easy to tell them apart. Thankfully, these blackbirds aren't endangered since they can adapt well to most environments. Of course, that doesn't mean we shouldn't take care of their natural habitats, too. Let's keep the environment clean and green so ravens and crows can both fly high and happy in the sky. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more facts videos.